in this problem, we have a mortar that fires a shell 36 meters per second at an angle of 60 seconds. We then find out after five seconds it hits the edge of this cliff. We want to know how high the cliff is and the final velocity of the mortar shell. So we start out with our sketch and drawing just the general motion of this. We also can then have a VY versus VX graph, with this being, of course, a Y versus X graph. In this VY versus VX graph, we have our mortar shell is fired at 60 degrees, and we have this is at 36 meters per second. So what we can do is we can decompose our VYI and VXI into two different directions. So our VXI is going to be 36 sine of, 36 cosine of 60 degrees, which is 18 meters per second. And our VYI is going to be 36 sine of 60 degrees, which is 31.2 meters per second. If we need to, we can, of course, draw the six graphs of all of the motion just to make sure that we're feeling good about it. So we'll do it as a nice exercise. So our x-axis is always going to be time. And then we are going to have our acceleration in the y, acceleration in the x, velocity in the y, velocity in the x, position in the y, position in the x. So our acceleration in the y is going to be negative 9.8. Our acceleration in the x is going to be 0. Our velocity in the y is going to start at 31.2 and go down to some negative value. Our velocity in the x is going to stay a nice constant 18. Our position in the y is going to look very, very similar to our y versus x, as long as we have 0 acceleration in the x, which we do. And then our position in the x is just going to be a nice thing like this. So in our organized step, we want to write our equations. So we have velocity final in the x, velocity initial in the x plus ax times time, velocity final in the y, velocity initial in the y plus ay times time, position final in the y equals position initial in the y plus viy times time plus 1 half ayt squared and position final in the x. Position initial in the x plus initial velocity in the x times time plus one half acceleration in the x t squared. And next we want to get our knowns and unknowns. So we just found through this we know now that vxi is 18 meters per second, VYI is 31.2 meters per second. We know, in fact, the time, it's five seconds, we're told that. We're trying to find VXF, VYF, and we're trying to find the final position in the Y. We also know a few other things, right? If we say this point is our origin, then we know the position initial in the Y is zero meters. We know then the position on the x is also zero meters. The acceleration of the y is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the acceleration of the x is, as we might imagine, zero meters per second squared. So, right, very nice to have it in this table, but also nice to have it in these graphs. With that, in our solve step, we can find the final velocities by using vfx equals vx plus axt. So vfx is equal to 18 meters per second second plus zero meters per second squared times five seconds, so our VFX is 18 meters per second. Not too exciting, but good to get that result. VFY is going to be 31.2 meters per second plus negative 9.8 meters per second squared times five seconds. So that will get us a value of negative 17.8 meters per second. For our final position in the y, we can use just equation 2y. SFY equals SIY, which is 0 meters, plus VIY, which is 31.2 
meters per second times five seconds minus one half 9.8 meters per second squared times 25 seconds squared. So feel free to pause this, but right, we have just our only unknown is here and just math left. Our final position in the y will then be 33.5 meters. And if they're asking for the final velocity, then we have it. We have our final velocity is 18 meters per second in the x direction, 18 meters per second i hat, minus 17.8 meters per second j hat. But we can also use Pythagorean theorem to find that the magnitude of our velocity is 25.3 meters per second. So since both of these are perfectly valid answers depending on what's being asked, whether we're being asked for velocity, give direction, or just the magnitude of the speed, do not have direction, depends on what we want. Okay, so we solved by first doing a sketch, putting all of our uh, equations and all of our knowns and unknowns in a table, and then going through and figuring out right what we needed to solve by using these equations and hopefully quickly going through.